Ah. Hello and welcome. I am the awful chef, and I'm hungry, so I'd better make some dinner. And my camera stand is now somewhat level, which is an improvement. So, if you look right about there, you'll see a rice cooker. Which means, no room for you in my little galley. So, what's going on? Uh, Raspberry Putin's threatening to blow up the world again. Let's have some meat. Uh. Yeah, nose itch, nose itch. So, what do we got? Well, I'm in the mood for something different tonight. I've had steaks, I've had pork, I've had pork, pork, and pork, and pork, and that's getting really old. So let's have some beef. Ish. We got the rice. I got some beef. Now this has been marinating in a little bit of soy, or actually in this case, a slight variation on soy known as Magi seasoning. Yeah, I kind of like this better. You can use soy if you can't find it, you'll be fine. So, magi or soy and black pepper. I got some sliced up red onions here. Hopefully I won't pour them all over the floor. Yeah, sliced up red onions. I got some sliced up garlic and oil. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> it's a lot of garlic. Um, a little bit of lettuce, you know, because I'm going to put the meat on top of a bed of lettuce. It's basically a salad. But here is our magic juice. Here we have a sauce I cannot show you without spilling it, of course, everywhere, but it's black. It's made of fish sauce, magi or soy, and lime juice and white sugar. Also, and very important, I have a garnish for this dish, which is fresh squeezed lime juice. Okay, so Asian cooking. Everything goes fast, so you gotta be ready ahead of time. I have a nice hot pan with a lot of a lot of oil in it. What we're going to do is we're going to cook the meat, or actually brown the meat, make the sauce, cook the meat in the sauce. So, let's do the exciting thing and make sure the oil is nice and hot. So yeah, the meat's just a cheap piece of sirloin that I cut into strips. Season with either magi or soy sauce and black pepper. Okay. And what we are doing is browning the meat, which means don't touch it. Uh, 
Oh, that is definitely creating a base for our sauce as the beef fat and soy cook off or cook into the juices. All right. It's in one layer and it's just brown. Let's go ahead and brown the other side. So I'm going in and flipping the meat one piece at a time. And as you can see by the steam, this takes a little bit of um, courage. Because there is a lot of heat going on, but we have some magnificent browning. Yeah, it's almost a braise. Yes, what we are doing, oh, the rice is ready. Interesting thing, I'm doing a different type of rice. Today we're doing jasmine rice, and so that is one to one. One cup of water to one cup of rice. Usually I do a cheap long grain that's a two to one. Okay. Yes, there are times when watching something cook is the most exciting part of cooking. Uh, yes, Raspberry Putin is going to blow up the world again. Boy, does this get tiresome. Oh. to cook the meat simply to brown it. I've taken the pan off the heat so I can remove the meat from the heat in the pan so I can make green eggs and ham with Sam I am. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Okay, so what do we got now other than a hot burner that's not going anywhere? I have some lightly browned meat that's magnificent looking. I have a pan full of all the good brown bits. Alright, because of the oil and the heat, I'm taking the pan off the heat to... Um, Saute some garlic. Lots of garlic. Lots and lots and lots of garlic. And for me to say that, that's something. And some black pepper. So now we Brown meat, let's make the sauce. Okay, let's turn that down a little bit. Oh, that's a garlic smell. Okay, I'm actually going to have to moderate the heat. The burner's too hot now. Unless I want deep fried garlic which I do not. Okay, so I have garlic and lots of oil and black pepper and all the goody bits from the meat. So, sauce. Soy, or in this case magi. Fish sauce. Um, fresh squeezed lime juice and some sugar. Okay, 
at an off heat, no drum. Now, let's turn that into something that's going to coat the meat and create a wonderful situation for us. Okay. Now that actually needs a little more magi because of the oil. Okay, that is thickening up nicely. As everything cooks. And yes, I have to moderate the heat again. And get that back on the heat. Yes, I know. Wok cooking, Asian cooking is high temperature. And here I am lowering the heat and lowering the heat. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm not making French onion soup. But I do want the onions to be a little bit less than um, hamburger grade. Because I have very successfully um, turned down the heat. Mm. Sorry, should I have said chicken stock? Uh oh, 12 minutes down. I'm running out of YouTube time. So, onions cooked in beef fat and a heavy Asian inspired sauce and now we throw in the meat and the juice everything that came out in the pan or in the plate goes into that we always have. It's either cornstarch or one drop. One has to be careful doing this with cornstarch because it tends to glop up. So distribute very carefully your cornstarch if adding to a hot pan. Yeah, you can't get away with it, but of course you really can. You just have to do it a little carefully. Okay. So, what do we have? We have basically Mongolian beef from a few miles away. Now 
Let me see if I can show you this. So yes, beef with onions and a heavy sauce, a fish sauce, magi or soy, lime juice, and sugar. So I'm going to cook this down, serve it on a bed of lettuce with a little bit of sesame seeds on top for decoration, and some jasmine rice. So, while that finishes cooking the meat, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because I'm running out of YouTube time. I am the Awful Chef. This is social media. Please do the social thing and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.